Hi folks. Are you tired of building your roadway grid in the same old boring square or rectangular shape? Are you looking for a new interesting way to lay out your city's road grid? Well if so, this video may be just what you're looking for. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily build your city streets in a near perfect hexagonal shape. Now that sounds just a little bit interesting now, doesn't it? Well if it does, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video as we walk through the basic principles of building your roads in this unique geometric shape. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so that you'll always be able to come back and watch it again if you need to. To demonstrate how to easily build a hexagonal road grid, Let's start with a brand new city. In this case, it's the city of Rock Valley. And I have selected the Two Rivers map. To facilitate this exercise, I have turned on the Unlimited Money mod and I've unlocked all roads. In addition, I've taken the liberty of clearing out all the trees and flattening the landscape. In order to build a hexagonal road grid, we need to have an understanding of basic geometry. In this case, all the sides of a hexagon are of equal length. In addition, the internal angle of each of the vertices is 120 degrees. Those two characteristics together make the hexagon an equilateral polygon. Now that we have established the basic geometric principles, the next thing we need to do is make sure we have the right mod. And the right mod for the job is Precision Engineering 2.0. So the mod we need to easily construct our hexagonal road grid is Precision Engineering 2.0. Precision Engineering 2.0 adds angle and distance measurements when building roads, train lines, pipes, and power lines. This tool will make the job much easier. If you haven't got the mod, I suggest you download it from the Steam Workshop. So let's place our hexagonal road grid in approximately the center point of our first tile. And I like to make the sides of the hexagon approximately perpendicular and parallel to the property boundaries, and that's just for aesthetic reasons. I guess that's just a quirk of mine. I think it looks better. So I'm going to use a two-lane row to build the hexagon shape. And again, we're going to do it just in the approximate center of the tile. So I think right about there is the right place to start. I'm just drawing a road as a visual guide to help orientate the first side of my first hexagon. And again, I'm just trying to make it approximate. Then we'll bulldoze most of the road. So we'll build our first side of the hexagon parallel to our guide road. And we'll make the length of our first side 40 units long. Then we can get rid of our guide road. To build the second side of our hexagon, we'll select a two-lane road. And we want the length of this side to be 40 units also. Now while maintaining the length of 40 units, move the road so that the internal angle is as close to 120 degrees as you can get it. Once the angle is close to 120 degrees, hold the control key down on your computer, and if you're close enough, it will snap to exactly 120 degrees. And it takes a little bit of work sometimes to get it close. So you've left click on the mouse to put that road into place. Now the second side of the hexagon is in place. Now we can continue the process. So we repeat that process for the remaining sides of the hexagon. Making sure that each side is 40 units in length and each internal angle is 120 degrees. And there's our first hexagonal road. Next we're going to build some roads to intersect the vertices or corners of the hexagon. We want each of these roads to cut the internal vertices angle in half which would make it 60 degrees. Again we're using the Precision Engineering 2.0 mod and holding down the control key to get the angle to snap to exactly 60 degrees. So again, using a two-lane road, draw the intersecting road as close to 60 degrees as you can get it by hand and use the control key to snap the angle to 60 degrees. 
We're going to make the intersecting road 15 units long, which should give us enough space for zoning against each road. Once we've done that, we then complete the process for each of the five remaining vertices. Once we have multiple intersecting roads built, we can simply connect the ends of those two roads with another two-lane road to start creating our next hexagon. And there you see it. And you can see we've got just enough space there with a little bit to spare for our zoning requirements. Then we just keep repeating that process. Now we have our second hexagon placed symmetrically inside that one, and we keep going. Let's construct a third hexagon inside the first two. And again, keeping the length of the road 15 units long. Things are getting fairly tight now, and it looks like even with Precision Engineering 2.0, it may be a little tricky to try to get exactly a length of 15 units. We're getting so tight now that I had to choose between either 14 or 16 units. So there it is, our first three hexagons. And then we continue the process. So I'm calling this a near-perfect hexagonal row grid. And the reason I'm calling it near-perfect is the fact that that little hexagon in the middle, I had to use a length of 14 units to get it to work, which is not exactly 15, but it's pretty close. So it's near-perfect. And again, we continued the process to make the hexagons as big as we want to make them. So that's about as small as I want to go as far as the internal little hexagon goes. And oh, it, maybe I'm going to fix that just a little bit to see if I can. I'd like to get it to exactly 15 units if that's possible. So let's bulldoze that and start again. So again, it's going to make me pick either 14 or 16 units. And in this case, I'm going with 14. And again, that's why I'm calling it a near perfect hexagon. Well, I think that looks pretty good. It kind of looks like a spider web, actually. So now I will have to create a connection to the highway. Put in city services such as water, power, fire stations, police stations, schools, garbage collection, and so on. And of course, I have to create the residential, commercial, and industrial zones. So I'm going to do all that, and we'll let the game run for a little bit. Then we'll come back, and we'll see how our hexagon road grid actually functions. Let's review the finished product. We've completed the hexagonal road grid. Of course, we've just started as far as building a new city goes. So I did purchase two additional tiles. I purchased this tile on the left. The reason I did that is when I was making this highway connection, the ramp got broken up, and in order to fix it, I had to purchase this piece of property. I also purchased this tile here. And the reason for that is I just needed more room to build my hexagonal road grid. And of course, in the process, I did some tree clearing and some landscape flattening so it all looks pretty. I have provided the necessary city services such as power, water, fire protection, and police protection, and so on. Interestingly enough, my traffic's actually doing pretty good. If I click on the info views and go down to the traffic panel, my average traffic flow is 78%, which is not too bad. And I've built a standard roundabout connection to my highway. And I've just started adding a little bit of landscaping to that roundabout. So overall, I think the hexagonal road grid looks pretty cool. And it's certainly a departure from the standard square or rectangular roadway grid. Well, in conclusion, I've showed you a simple way to build a near-perfect hexagonal road grid using the Precision Engineering 2.0 mod. So now you have one more weapon in your arsenal of city building ideas. Now that you've learned how to do that, it wouldn't be much of a stretch to build your roads in other geometric shapes if you wanted to, such as an octagon or a pentagon. Well, maybe that's a topic for another video. If you have any questions about the content of today's video, please note them in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. If you have any topics you would like to see a tutorial on for City Skylines, note those in the comments below too, because I'm always looking for video ideas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell, so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love.
This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax, and enjoy another video.